friends, Jewel back with another Super Cool Astrology video. And I wanted to talk about the composite moon square to Uranus and what we see when we have this in a composite chart. So composite charts are midpoint charts and the Davidson chart, uh, sorry, Davidson chart, same thing. All the aspect videos that I talk about composite ch charts apply to Davidson relationship charts. I actually like the Davidson relationship chart better myself, but I use them both. I always look at both. Because both will show you different versions of the same story and you can get a more complete picture when you look at both charts. So they may look different, but they're telling you the same thing. And as you get more used to doing sinister and composite charts, that will make sense to you. So this particular square and um, all hard aspects from the moon to Uranus tend to show up in the composite charts and sinistry of people that get into relationships uh, where the relationship is meant to jolt them out of their current way of being, or they jolt them out into a new way of um, experiencing the world, or to come kind of in, you know, stark contact with their, um, you know, dormant feelings. So this is not a stable aspect to have in a composite chart. It's extremely exciting. It typically shows a relationship that forms very quickly, where the there's a lot of excitement and there's an emotional connection happens very quickly with this one. They tend to come together very fast and want to explore each other in um, a very large um, way. So there is always the possibility of the relationship coming to just as abrupt an end as it begun with this particular square because the friction between the feelings and the internal habits between two people and the ideas about they sh how they should live or think are not in um, they're not at all on the same page there's a lot of friction between that so you have to understand that the time that you do have together that's what you really have to treasure because that is all that you can count on when we have this particular square. This particular square and the opposition to in a composite chart is really meant to leave a radical impression on both your lives and your hearts. This one changes the way that you think and changes the way that you view your place in your culture. It, because what it does is it makes you really come to terms with what is more personally satisfying to you and what is your personal view of love and life. And so there is a way that this one, you know, affects us in a very deeply important way that you see in um, the composite charts of people that often have a relationship that is one that is radically transforming to several different areas of their lives not just their love life or their romance life or their sex life. This one, you know, you see it with other aspects in composite charts where this relationship can cause somebody to come in contact with their own moon in ways that radically transforms the larger scope of their life. So this is one that because of the way Uranus works, it has an impersonal effect to it, meaning that the, the effect that we have on each other bleeds over into other areas of our life. That this person that we had this aspect with didn't even seemingly have anything to do with. So if we're going to enjoy this aspect, you have to be ready for the full range of experiences that will happen between the two of you. There isn't a lot of control, or I should say there isn't any control, 
regarding where the emotional component of the relationship is going or what that is even going to be like. So if you're looking for something traditional, something predictable, this is not going to be it when you have this particular square. Yes, it does put us in intimate emotional contact pretty early on in the relationship. Yes, it does give us a feeling of being very emotionally connected and we have a very big impact on each other's actual longer term view, longer life views. But it is one that is not for everybody because you don't know what to expect with this particular square and that's harder to have long-term committed romantic partnerships with. This one is um, more comfortably found in polyamorous or open relationships because of the nature of what it represents. So um, it is one that we can often see in the composite charts of affairs too, really often. And even more often than that, in the composite charts of people where one person is, you know, greatly struck by the other person, but no relationship actually forms, but they have this big impact on each other nonetheless. So um, it's a very interesting square in how it um, makes us feel personal towards each other, but at the same time, it leaks out and affects our lives in more non personal ways. So it's, it's really fascinating when you see this one. It's very exciting. Um, does cause a feeling of uh, being bonded early in the relationship um, and brings a real uh, a measure of um, adrenaline and flutter into the relationship. You'll feel this one very, very strongly early on in the um, the infatuation phase of the relationship. This one will show up very, very strongly. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my channel. You can find me on the internet at truthandaspectastrology.com. You can find me on Facebook at Truth and Aspect Astrology. Yes, I do private consultation, and I will be back super soon with more super coolness. Bye.